the feast day of the Assumption of the Blessed Virgin Mary, three reverend brothers made their first profession of religious vows as members of the Presentation Brothers. It was held at a ceremony attended by Presentation Brothers and other religious men and women at the Presentation Brothers Novitiate Chapel at Lorry in Ghana. The are Reverend Brother Emmanuel Omaji Edo from the Benu State, Reverend Brother Godfrey Adamu Sata from Benu State, and Reverend Brother Joshua Ncho, all from the province of Nigeria. The colorful ceremony, presided over by Reverend Father Joseph Felix, saw the province leader, Brother Emmanuel Aminenta, accepting the brothers' vow in the name of the church and for the community of the Presentation Brothers. Reverend Brother Emmanuel urged them to remain prayerful and steadfast despite the challenges they may face in their quest to serve God in their respective stations. They also signed the vow formula supervised by the province leader. Speaking to the media, the newly professed brothers could not hide their joy, having taken their first vows to join the religious. Brother Emmanuel equated his moment of delight and excitement to that of a newly wedded couple. All journey in life, there are challenges and difficulties, but my journey here for these two years is like a, an ad adventurous uh, journey for me. I always ask my parents will always say, we are praying for you as you journey in life. It's as if uh, you see the joy in the marriage, uh, those who, did, who are newly wedded. That is the same joy. That is how I feel today. The journey of two, three years up to me has come to an end. Still, it's a continued journey in life. On their part, Brother Godfrey and Brother Joshua expressed how impressed and excited they are, completing the first stage of the profession they have chosen to serve God. According to them, they find joy and happiness in helping the needy and poor. In fact, as you can see, I'm overexcited because it has been a long-awaited day. This is just the beginning of the life I'm going to live and the week I'm going to give my life as a sacrifice to the poor and the young. So being in a formation house alone is not the beginning of the journey because it's, it's more of uh, studying and uh, praying, discerning my vocation. So now the main journey has just started. So I'm very happy that uh, I will put what I have learned in the novitiate program into practice. Uh, during the time of my formation, and uh, I was taught of uh, things that I um, I have to pass through in order to become. And. Um, with the, the enthusiasm and the, 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 the that calling and the desire of God that made me to come in the first place also helped me to continue with uh, the, the decision of uh, becoming a religious brother and that is why I am rejoicing today. The novice director of Mount St. Joseph Laurie, Ghana, brother Joseph Mukasa, gave a narration of how he was able to bring the young brothers up for a successful vow on this day. It's not easy these days dealing with young people in you know, the 21st century. They come with uh, all sorts of baggages and you have to help them unpack uh, baggages. I always tell them that uh, they come with their baggage uh, and you say, you unpack your bag and you continue to help you feel it. Uh, and there are always moments of resistance because most of them are very fixated in their own ways and they want to remain in that. Brother Rafael Mario congratulated the young brothers for taking up their first vow and called on them to show commitment in their line of duty. And from here, each one of them has been assigned to a community. And in those communities, they'll live out their, their daily life, they'll live out their vows, in fact. Um, they should be, for all the people they come in contact with, they should be an example of Christ, an example of love. Uh, they should express that or exhibit that love that our founder had for young people, for all people, in fact, but particularly for young people and disadvantaged people. Peter Agengri, reporting. Oh!